Hey everyone, welcome back to another Sunday reset routine. Today I have a really good dinner recipe to share with you guys. I have laundry, some cleaning, I have a new cleaning tool that I'm ready to try. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we're jumping right into this video. So I'm starting off with laundry and I typically like to do at least one load a day, but me and Brandon's clothes are starting to pile up as well as the towels. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in today's video. But throughout the week, like I said, I like to do at least one load a day, whether that's just washing bedding from one bed in the house or doing all the bedding, the kids clothes, the throw blankets. But as long as I stick to the one load a day, it does help cut down on the amount of laundry I have to do. Now, I will say this doesn't happen all the time. I don't wash a load every single day. I try to, but there are times where it will pile up and I will have to dedicate an entire day to washing. So the next time that happens, I might film it for you guys and show you guys how a laundry day would go. Anyway, so today I'm just gonna be doing one large load of colors from me and Brandon's clothes, and then I'm gonna move on to the towels later on. I have a lot of little things that I need to get done, so we're gonna be jumping around a lot in this video. Now we're in the kitchen. I recently cleaned out the fridge because I like to do that to start the week off. So I have a bunch of Tupperware containers that I washed last night that I'm just gonna put away and then move on to the rest of the dishes. All right, so I know this has nothing to do with my video, but I'm sitting here editing this video and I'm watching the newest episode of The Golden Bachelor. Comment down below if you're a Bachelor or Bachelorette fan. I've always loved The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. I don't watch every season because sometimes they're just not as exciting, especially as you get older. Um, the Bachelor or Bachelorette, they're like in their early 20s trying to find love and it's just not relatable anymore. So if you don't know, this season in, it's a little bit different because he is 71 years old and all the ladies that are on the show are around the same age as him so it's just something new and it's just so much fun to watch.
I've had this electric lighter for a while now and I love it. You can just recharge it so you never have to like keep repurchasing lighters. I got this from Amazon. I think it was like $11. So I'll have it down in my Amazon storefront in the description. So I have this drawer that holds the kids plates, bowls and cups and it's all plastic and I wanted to make sure they have access to their own set of dishes um, so they don't have to worry about reaching up above to get anything breakable. It's mainly for when they make themselves breakfast in the morning or they want to grab a quick snack. They have this drawer to go to. Obviously they're getting older. They can literally use any plates or dishes up above. It's just they actually like having their own little set of dishes down here in this drawer I just took everything out because for some reason there were a lot of crumbs in there so yeah I just cleaned it out really good and put everything back in So I realize when I'm recording I don't show you guys up close what I'm actually seeing because I always just push record and start cleaning but I thought I would show you guys up close what my floors are looking like right now. It's a hot mess. Um, I haven't been able to vacuum in like a day and a half because Brandon took apart my Dyson and cleaned it out so we had it air drying. So I wasn't able to really vacuum, but I'm just preparing to vacuum and then I'm gonna mop. If you vacuum over anything wet and you don't clean it out, it will start to mold in there. So um, we try to clean it out every so often so none of that happens. So that's what he was doing. So it took a little while, but we're back.
right, so this load of laundry was pretty large. Now that it's done, I'm gonna switch it over to the dryer, leaving out anything that needs to be air dried. So I washed the kids clothes yesterday. That was my load of the day. Um, the majority of it is put away except for their tops. And that's what I'm just gonna do now. I'm gonna hang all of their tops up and then I'm gonna move on to my bathroom. So these rugs right here have got to go. Any little stain that hits it just makes the rugs look even worse. And I think it's just the color that's throwing everything off as well. So I did end up getting new rugs and I'll show you guys that later on. They're just really simple, but still real cute. And I'm just gonna be doing a quick little clean in here, not a deep clean. I do wanna mop in here and I need to clean off the countertops and kind of just reorganize a little bit. Also gonna be trying out this little power scrubber that I just got from Target. So I'll give you my thoughts on that. All right, so here's the power scrubber that I was telling you guys about. It's by Rubbermaid. I got it from Target for about $20. It comes with two different brush heads. So it's perfect for all of those little cracks and crevices, your grout, your tile, any little corners that you just can't get to or anywhere that you would usually use uh, a toothbrush to clean. This is a little bit more powerful. So it's gonna break down a lot of that dirt and grime or whatever you're trying to clean. And I actually ended up really liking this. I got these little bathroom organizers a couple years ago. I got one for Brandon and the other one the kids were using. But now that they're using a drawer for their toothbrushes, I decided to go ahead and put it in my bathroom to see how I would like it. I like that it's black, it doesn't stand out. So on my side, I'm gonna use it for my cotton rounds, Q-tips, my toothbrush and toothpaste. And then on Brandon's side, his 
toothbrush and toothpaste in there, but he also likes certain things of, out on the countertop, like his shave stuff. So that's what I'm putting on his side. So I decided to use the power scrubber on my faucet to see what it does and to see if it actually works. I'm using the pointy brush head to really get in there and I can tell a difference. You probably won't see a difference on camera, but in person you definitely can tell. So, so far I am really liking it. So I'm gonna try the power scrubber on the floor because I have a small area in front of our vanity that is discolored in between our tiles. So I'm gonna spray some Tilex on it on the areas where I want to clean and then use the power scrubber. I did end up switching out the brush head to the flat one after a while. I just don't think I showed you guys me switching it out, but I started off with the pointy one and the flat one works so much better on areas like this. So that was super easy and it didn't take hardly any time at all to clean. Even though I do my, my floors all the time, it just doesn't get in there and do the job like this little tool. Moving on to the shower, I thought I was gonna use that power scrubber on my floor, but the brush head is just so small. It would literally take forever for me to clean in between all the shower tiles. So I'm just gonna use it on a small area. And honestly, I think that's what this is meant for anyway, not really cleaning an entire shower floor. I'm gonna use my bigger brush for that and I'll do that off camera. But I'm just gonna touch on a few areas to see what it does for the shower. I would get to another one or two loads of clothing but I decided to throw my towels in because they're literally overflowing and I need to get my white towels cleaned and put away so that's what we're gonna do and that's gonna be it for laundry for today Right, I'm back it's the next day and I am gonna be going to the grocery store just to pick up a few things mainly for tonight's dinner that I didn't have in the house so I'm gonna take you guys along with me to get back home I'm gonna finish up anything that I didn't get done from yesterday and also share with you the best meal ever <laughs>
here is the end result of what we're gonna be making for tonight's dinner. And believe it or not, this is about a 30 minute meal. So it's not gonna take long. All the creamy Cajun chicken meatballs. And I'm gonna split it up into two parts because the little one has gymnastics later on tonight. So I'm just gonna make the meatballs right now and then refrigerate them because it is pretty early in the day still. And then all I have to do later on after we come back from gymnastics is create the creamy sauce that it's gonna go in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is saute some onion because that's what's needed for the meatball mixture. So don't worry, I am gonna tell you guys what all I'm putting in here step by step in a second. So this is another TikTok recipe and I will leave the creator's name in the description box. So I'm gonna take two pounds of ground chicken, two eggs, one cup of breadcrumbs or panko breadcrumbs, some paprika, Cajun seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, and salt, pepper. And then once the onions are done sauteing, I'm gonna add that into the meat mixture as well, combine everything and create meatballs. had to switch to a larger pan so now my foil is all jacked up but it still works they're actually really good on its own so you don't necessarily have to continue on with the recipe if you just want to use these meatballs maybe put it with spaghetti they're really flavorful and the original creator said this in her tiktok you could freeze them ahead of time which is such a great idea especially if you're a busy family and you don't always have time to throw a meal together these are also good for lunch boxes as well Make sure your oven is set to 400 and I put these in there for about 20 minutes. Every time I handle raw meat anywhere in my kitchen, I always use my Lysol spray and let that sit for one to two minutes and then wipe it down. The meatballs are done and they are looking good. I'm gonna let them cool before I put them in the fridge and then we'll just come back to it later on when it's time to actually cook dinner. But for now, while I'm waiting on the kids to come home from school, I'm gonna fold those towels that we washed yesterday.
we're back from gymnastics. It's dark. It's about seven o'clock. So yeah, we're going to be eating a little bit late, but write this down because now we're going to make the sauce where our meatballs are going to go into. Really, this part is super quick, especially if you pre-chopped everything beforehand. I didn't do that. I didn't even think about doing that. I'm chopping 16 ounces of cherry tomatoes. I did a handful of garlic, maybe five or six cloves. I am going to cut up one small onion um, and then you're going to need a little bit of olive oil, a couple tablespoons of butter. Add that to your pot, let it melt, and then everything we just chopped up, we're going to add that to the pot. So this is where you would add in fresh basil. I forgot to pick it up at the grocery store, but I just added in some parsley instead. Once your onions and tomatoes are pretty much cooked down, add a half a cup of chicken broth. When that starts to simmer, add in two cups of heavy whipping cream. Here's where you're gonna start adding in your seasonings. You can season this however you'd like, but I just added in everything that I added into the meatballs. So onion powder, garlic powder, white pepper, Cajun seasoning, salt and pepper, and then give that a good stir, let it simmer, and then add in some Parmesan cheese. All right, coming to the end here, all you're gonna do now is add in about 14 ounces of spinach. When that's cooked down, add your meatballs back into the sauce. Give it a good stir, let it simmer. If your meatballs were cold beforehand, make sure they're nice and warm. Serve it with some mashed potatoes. We did rice today and it was so good. The kids loved it. Now, if the kids weren't eating this, I would have definitely added a bunch of red pepper flakes to the sauce. So we just added that to our plates separately along with some more Parmesan cheese. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one.